Yeah, good afternoon. We are in the shadow of the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford, and on Saturday night, dreams will come true for one of our eight cruiserweights in the Boxer Series. Eight fighters, but there can only be one winner. Four quarterfinals, we're going to draw today. Two semifinals, one final, all in one night, live from the Victoria Warehouse Sky Sports Action, 7 o'clock. You can see that I've been joined on stage not just by Savage Dan, but by Johnny Nelson and Fraser Clark. Fraser, I'm going to come to you first. It's going to be fireworks. It's going to be exciting. But for the first time in the Boxer Series since we've been doing it, we've got fighters calling each other out before the draw even starts. For example, Ryan Cottrell, the least experienced, calling out the most experienced. What is the right way to do this? Ellis Brown has been called out more than once. I think, you know, the thinking for some of these fighters is the guys with the more experience might have done the more rounds so they might have slowed down a little bit so some of these guys that are fresh you know I've seen some two and O's in there one, one and O's they're probably thinking you know what we've still got a bit of our amateur side about us we can start quick and we can do the three rounds better than some of these guys that are probably pacing the fights a little bit more so it's an interesting one but I'd say be careful what you wish for because experience is key and you know it can go anyway. Johnny Nelson your old division mm -hmm. the cruiserweights I don't think I'm blowing this one up too much, but we are expecting fireworks. But it's an interesting night for you because, yes, you're working with us, but you are also an advisor and mentor to Sheldon McDonald. He's been calling people out as well. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been telling him to do that or are you just letting them go? And you know what I think with this, it's not just about getting yourself physically in, in, in condition, it's about getting yourself mentally in condition. So sometimes as Sheldon's calling fighters out or if I'm trying to poke fun at somebody, he's trying to, try to rattle the fighter. Now, I'm supposed to be impartial, so boys, trust me, this will be dead right and dead fair. So, uh, but I'm excited to see how this goes because with this tournament, anybody can win. It doesn't matter who you want to win, anybody can win this tournament. Anyone can win it, but all eyes will be on the draw. Let's just explain. Eight balls, eight fighters all in the bowl there. Johnny Nelson and Fraser are going to draw for us. You're going to draw yep. fighter one, home fighter. You're going to draw fighter two. So let's get it underway because everyone's getting antsy in here. So quarterfinal number one, home fighter, Johnny Nelson. I really messed up the rehearsal because I was doing it old school, but I've got it now, so trust me. Uh, quarterfinal num uh, number one. Uh, Alex Zorro. There you go. Red shorts. Ellis Zorro, the joint most experienced in the field. Ellis, up you come. 11 and 0. He will fight. Fraser, please uh, draw quarterfinal number one away fighter. Jay Farrell, orange shorts. Jay Farrell, the two most experienced fighters in the lineup will meet in quarterfinal number one. Savage Dan, take it away. The two most experienced fighters in the competition. Ellis, you're going to have to forgive me for my bad joke. You are ahead of year. Do you plan to teach Jay a lesson? <laughs> no, that's Ricky. <laughs> oh, I knew I'd. Sorry. No, you've got to go. Wait, listen, we're going to go for something else. You are 11 and. and Everyone seems to be calling you out. Mm -hmm. They feel like you are the person to beat in this tournament. Mm -hmm. What does that do for your confidence? <sighs> Nothing. I'm already confident from the training that I put in. So I'm in shape. I'm ready to go with, any, with anyone. So, yeah. Jay, you're an all-action fighter. Very experienced yourself. How do you beat Ellis? Just come out. Let the hands go. Put the pressure on him. I'm sure, you know, when I was an experienced fighter like myself, but I'm sure we'll be fireworks for both of us fight nights. We both prefer. He looks in shape. I'm in shape. So... May the best man win. May the best man win. Good luck Saturday, fellas. Okay, that is our first quarterfinal. Quarterfinal number two, fight number one, Johnny Nelson. That's a good shout, that. Is that a good shout? Good start. Okay, here we go again. Keep it there, keep it there. Kind of magic. Uh, Jamie Smith, light blue shorts. Okay, the oldest in the field, but the favourite in the field. Uh, light blue shorts, Jamie Smith. He will fight. Fraser Clark, please do the honours. Jamie Smith will fight. You need to hold up there because they'll be watching you. <laughs> Jack Fay, yellow shorts. Jack, very good amateur. Went to uh, on to win English title as an amateur. Suits the three threes, exactly what you were saying. The 26-year-old Savage Dan. Let's hear what those two have got to say. Jamie, big punch up. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to make that power count early doors? Of course, straight away. We let the bombs go. We've got three rounds, three minutes. You've said that it's about who wants it more. Do you want it more? I could say a thousand things, but as I've done all my whole career, I'm going to let my hands do the talking. 
How do you beat him? I knock him out. Any response? See you out there. Good luck to both of you. <laughs> well done, gents. That's a great... This draw's going well. It's a great quarterfinal. So quarterfinal number three, home fighter will be Johnny. Let's find out. Green shorts, Ricky Reeves. Ricky Reeves. Ricky, up you come. Trained by your old stable mate, Ryan Rhodes. And he's friends with Sheldon. So let's, uh, Fraser, find out who Ricky is going to box. Anise Taj, dark blue shorts. The 25 year old from Watford, decent amateur, 1 5 lost once. That's quarterfinal number three, Savage Dan. Ricky, you are the teacher. I'm going to give yeah, you a slightly yeah, different, yeah. A different question. Do you plan on giving Anise an education? You can say that. Yeah, um, they're all 50 50 fights, so it's just going in there, putting everything in, and just getting that win. Three round format. How fast do you have to start? Again, like I said before, you've got to start really fast. Um, I feel like I'm fit enough and strong enough to do it, so we'll see on Saturday. And is you've sparred heavyweights, big names, stands you in good stead for this competition? Yeah, of course. When you mix it with people like Joe Joyce, you know the level you're at and with what the sparring happened, it was all good. You're a big puncher yourself. Is your plan to, to go in there and get the stoppage? The only combination I know is left, right, good night. Best believe I'll be landing it Saturday. Good luck to both of you. Good luck to the guys in quarterfinal number three. So if this has gone to plan, we should know the final two names. It's just the order that they come out in. So the home fighter will be in quarterfinal number four. Purple shots, Shannon McDonnell. Your man, Johnny, a very good footballer, mentored by Johnny Nelson. OK, Fraser, let's complete this draw, please. Quarterfinal number four, the away fighter should be and will be... Ryan Cottrell, pink shorts. Probably the man that we know least about in the field. A very talented amateur, but there is only one professional fight to go on. Let's hear a little bit more about them with Savage Dan. Ryan, you are the least experienced in here, but you are very confident and you feel like anybody will be unlucky to draw you. Yeah, he's definitely unlucky. He'll have to come to me for a bit of mentoring once I beat him Saturday night. What do you say to that? I like his confidence, you know. I, th I think I've got the beating of all of the guys in the competition. I'm, I've got my eyes set on the, on the full prize, the 40k and the contract. And this is just going to be the first opponent in the way. So we'll see about that mentoring. Johnny giving you any advice? Yeah, he's giving me loads of advice. Works mainly on the mentality. And I've got the right mentality. I've put the work in. I've got the fitness. He looks in shape. I look in shape. It's going to be fireworks. So tune in. Good luck to both of you. Congratulations. So Ellis Zorro will fight Jay Farrell, Jamie Smith against Jack Fay, Ricky Reeves against Anise Taj, Ryan Cottrell will fight Sheldon McDonald. One quick question to the two of you. Out of those four quarterfinals and those eight characters, who stands out for you, Fraser? Which, which talking did you like there? Which bit of talking? I liked everyone. Everyone had a little bit of confidence about him. But I'm going to say that Jay was, uh, was um, you know, he, he seems like he's up for it for me. Okay, Jay Farrell, you've taken Fraser's eye, and sure, you've got to pick Sheldon. I can't, I can't help you here. You have to. You have to. And actually, I thought if I didn't pick Sheldon, I'd pick Ryan Cottrell. And that's the mad thing about it. So that, that, that's going to be a wicked fight because I think you might have the. That might be. That should be the final. That should be the final. But hey, what do I know? Remember what I said. If you don't like the draw, there's only two people to blame them. I'm not one of them. They're right here. So come and see them afterwards. That completes our draw here. So remember, eight cruiserweights. There can only be one winner of the Boxer Series, the Cruiserweights. Make sure you join us Saturday night, Victoria Warehouse, if you can get down there. But if not, live on Sky Sports Action from 7 o'clock.